hello there once again welcome to yet another tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to talk about how to get a verification code each time you are performing a micro worker task um first things first i will have to look at out for a file that i'm supposed to process in this case let me pick this one okay I need to accept this task okay great the first thing that I need to do is to go through the instructions the first one is saying sign out from Google and search for print check template step number two find and click this either on the first page or the second page something that looks like this also I need to share and get a bonus if at all I have to share before I go any further the first the other thing that I need to do is I need to go th please go to this URL for more instructions so for me to get the instructions I need to go through this URL it's as simple as just right clicking and then you go to google to search for the same as this one is searching i have to go back and then get the key which is 2299 which i need to put here 2299 and then have to open once you do this this displays the instructions that you need to follow when performing the task so from the task, I mean from the instructions, right from the beginning we've been told to say we need to search for this. Again, I just have to right click on my mouse and then search from the Google. So these are the search results. Now, from these search results, which one am I supposed to pick? I need to go back to the instructions once again. I need to get something that like look reads like this ch which is for check tm bi and the like then I need to go back to the search results and get something that to befit my search my search criteria as highlighted here okay so the first results that I'm seeing check template blank check template print result does this one look like this one check temperature blank check temperature print results okay definitely this is the same one I need to click on it okay now at this point I need to get the verification code this stage is different when you are using a mobile phone and also when you are mo using a laptop when you are using a mobile phone you are able straight away to see the red button that you need to click and get the code but as you are using the laptop you need to click on this button just the one before the close button this one the restore button so that the screen is reduced to make it as similar as that of a mobile phone and then you have to scroll down scroll down gently scroll down a bit scroll down continue until you get to see this red button here once you see it click on it there we go here we are going to find clock or a watch um, ticking down or clocking down and as we can see here we are being told to wait so in this case we need to wait until it gets to zeros that is when we are going to get the verification code one important thing that you need to realize is 
as at this stage you do not have to disturb the clock that is uh, tickling down you don't have to open any of these tabs because once you do so this clock stops moving it stops tickling downwards mind you at the same time on the original task there is also a time that the timer once it reaches zero then the task is not complete and it will, won't count so let's get back and let's allow this one to continue so that we get so that we get the verification code let's remain patient So at this point, like I said, you don't have to do anything or else you are going to disturb So let's remain patient and wait for this to finish Not until it reaches the zeros and then that's when we're going to get the verification code to feed in our main uh, task Again, I have to repeat this important and very important tip. As the clock is counting down, you do not have to open any other tab. Otherwise, the clock will stop counting. At the same time, the main timer on the main task is counting down. And once it reaches zero, then this record will go as unprocessed and it makes you at risk of losing out in terms of processing more of these kind of tasks so the best way to handle this is to be patient enough until the timer gets down to zeros so that you can get the verification code and put it where you are supposed to put it so let's remain patient still As you can see the timer is almost uh, getting to zero meaning that very soon we are going to get the verification code We are almost there, We're almost there, okay there we go and this is our verification code which reads 2527 so we are going to get 2527 and put it in here 2527 at this point we can even maximize the window and submit The result that we are getting now is that uh, the task has been submitted successfully, thank you, and then we can go back to the jobs page. So at this point we have successfully uh, processed that record, thank you so much, and for more of this kind of videos, you can click on the subscription button so that each time I upload new videos you'll be the first person to be notified. Thank you so much.